safari lodge. We're just getting acquainted in, but we're already seeing wildlife. We're so close to them too, so my heart is super happy. We are headed out to the safari. We're going to see some wildlife. So we call them black black jackal, but they are very similar to a fox. Rhinoceros having a nap over there on the water. Oh, I see. Oh, nap time. It was extremely, extremely amazing to see wildlife in their natural habitat. We were able to see rhinos ostrich, zebras. I mean, these are things that I've dreamed about that I've seen in TV shows and documentaries and to actually see it in person is such a surreal experience. So today is rehearsal day and I have a little bit of free time here in the morning. So we are headed to a local market. So one of my favorite things to do when I'm traveling is to see what people are creating in their home country. And it's very inspiring. Maybe I can make a design when I come home. We're going shopping. So we're just getting to Rose Bank market and I'm excited. I'm looking for maybe some local artisans, textiles, jewelry, crafts, anything to take home for myself and for gifts. with everything I'm seeing. Yeah. The hardest part is just not buying <laughs> everything. These are beautiful. I mean, the little baby beads, I can't imagine weaving them all together or however they make it, how many hours actually went into all of these pieces. I want to take like every single color home. I've bought, I don't know, maybe five already. I think they're going to make great gifts and it just represents South African culture. She was telling me how Zulu women make them and there's a history behind that. So I'm glad to take it home. here in this market. I am so excited seeing all the handcrafts and the level of detail in all the pieces. I just bought a bunch of jewelry that the Zulu women made and I think they're gonna make great, great gifts for my girlfriends back at home. And I'm so happy to take a touch of South Africa home with me. She came over last minute. We've been trying to meet up. Me from day one. From day one. And I'm like, she's not leaving anymore. <laughs> so I called her. She called me. I called her this morning, and she came over because she's just right across the street. <laughs> The so last day here in South Africa and I have one more stop. It's probably what I'm most excited about. I'm going to a local vocational school and they offer different skills and classes for mechanics, for metalworks and sewing. I'm actually gonna go into the sewing class and talk to the students, offer them some more education, more sewing skills. They're gonna show me what they know as well because the creative mind, it needs guidance. There needs to be more opportunities for these children so we can open up jobs and markets for them here in South Africa. I know that these schools help them on a path to jobs in the fashion industry. They can become fashion designers, work in the sewing industry. So it's really an honor and very impactful to be able to invest in the youth here.
Girls School. I just want to take this opportunity to thank Sun International Times Square for bringing Miss Universe to our school. She's such a humble soul. She's mingling with the learners. She's actually working with the learners. She's actually down to earth. Sure, we are so happy and thank you so much. My experience in South Africa was just so amazing. I mean, I was able to go to the bush, do the overnight safari. I was able to see Miss South Africa in person. The whole production, the competition was incredible. It left me with chills. And then the cherry on top, my last day here, going to the vocational school and just hanging out with the kids. I mean, they're so playful, have the sweetest, cutest personalities. Went into the sewing classroom. I was actually able to sit down and sew with the children. I mean, South Africa, you have a special place in my heart. <laughs>